Today, I'm gonna try that trend that everyone's making on TikTok called Dalgana Coffee. Hey guys, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg, and welcome back to another episode of, I guess what we're calling Quarantine Kitchen. So if you haven't seen this, I guess you're not on TikTok. <laughs> All right, so Dalgana is a Korean biscuit. It's like a candy biscuit. It's like a multi toffee almost. So Dalgana coffee is mixing like an instant coffee with some sort of sugar and water. And it is served over top of, it's almost served like latte style. So you can have it either hot or cold with some ice, but it is milk and then a hot, like this coffee foam on top. And the reason why it's called Dalgana coffee is because it tastes very similar to Dalgana, which is this Korean treat, but I already have my creative juices flowing. I really want to try it originally, just like the way it's meant to be consumed, but then I also want to try making a cardamom version of it. It's already sweet, so the cardamom will give it like some warmth and some spice as well. Not spice like this is spicy. Think of like pumpkin pie, how it has that warm spice flavor. It's kind of like that. All right, to make our Dalgona coffee, you need instant coffee. The only instant coffee I had is a decaf, which is fine because I've already had a coffee today, but you can use both caffeinated and decaf, doesn't really matter. I am going to whip that with this cane sugar. You can use white sugar. Any sugar that you have at home pretty much is fine, I believe. Two tablespoons of each and then two tablespoons of water. We're gonna whip that together with a hand mixer. You can do it with a whisk, but it's gonna take you like 20 minutes. You wanna whip that together until you get very thick peaks and it's very foamy. Okay, so you're gonna take your instant coffee and put it into just like a bowl or I have this, which is great for my hand blender. And you're gonna mix that with your sugar and then just mix it with two tablespoons of boiling hot water. And then using whatever you want to use to mix it, you can use like a hand mixer for baking. I have this, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay, so what you're going to end up with is this like foamy consistency. It's kind of like, it has some stiff peaks. I ended up doubling the recipe because I want to try it out two different ways. It definitely has that like malted toffee flavor. Once you have that, you can make your latte. So it's really up to you whether you want to make a cold latte or a warm latte. If you want cold, we're going to add some ice. I think I want cold today, so I'm going to add ice to a cup fill it up with some soy milk, and then top it off with the Dalgana coffee portion. But if you wanted to make it warm, you can do the same thing, just warm up the milk first and don't add ice. All right, so I have my cup of ice here. I'm going to add some milk. I'm going to add my dollops of the coffee. And you can top this with like, chocolate syrup if you want, or cinnamon. The cinnamon will be nice with that like malted flavor. So there you go. All right, so let's give this a try. So before you serve, give it a good mix. I don't think you have to mix it, but I've seen everybody online mixing it. And it doesn't really make sense to me to just like have milk and then the coffee after. So I use soy milk. I just like the flavor of soy milk. It also has kind of like an earthy flavor to it. And it's higher in protein, so I like that. It's a lot creamier than in coffee. That's really good. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good, right? Mm. Okay, you can have that one yeah. because I'm going to make another one, but with cardamom. Lovely. All right, cardamom coffee is one of my favorite things. The first time I was introduced to cardamom coffee, it was from Turkish coffee, and I love it, and I add it to my coffee on a regular basis. So I want to try it in making it with cardamom. So cardamom comes in these pods. I actually got these in Israel when I was there at a shuk or a market. Cardamom is quite strong. You want to crack open one of these guys, and you only need a couple of the little seeds in the pod. You'll see there's quite a bit of seeds in that pod. So I would use like four. One, two, three, and I have one in my hand. Four. So I'm just using my coffee grinder, and if you're making this with normal coffee, like if you're just making normal coffee and you want cardamom coffee, you can grind these right with the beans, which I do on a regular basis, but because I just want the cardamom, I'm just gonna grind it up in here. 
They're impatient for their coffee. If you use too much, it will make whatever you're flavoring it with taste like soap. So I'm just going to use like a sprinkle. And especially if you're getting, not fresh cardamom, but like dried cardamom in the pods, it's going to be way more potent than if you were to get ground cardamom. Where can people get ground cardamom usually? Just from like a regular grocery store? Yeah. Spices aisle? Like, like a spice whole, aisle. Like the whole seeds? Or like the whole... Like, yeah, husks. I've seen the whole seeds sold in grocery stores. It is quite expensive. If you have like a Middle Eastern grocer that you like to use, mm. I would go there. And we're going to do the same thing again. Mix it good. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. How's yours? I had a little bit of coffee to mine. Because I wanted a bit of well afterwards I drank I I enjoyed its creation, but then I needed a kick. Mm. With the cardamom, it's really nice. Like just for a second there, just with the foam, I was like, might have added too much cardamom. But once you mix it with the milk and everything, it's good. It's perfect. It's so good. I love I love cardamom coffee. And honestly, guys, if you want to try like an orange flavored one, like I've seen orange coffee and it's it looks so good. I'm going to try that next. All you have to do is add orange zest to it. Kind of experiment with the different flavors. Uh, experiment with it hot, cold. So there you have it. A vegan version of Dalgona coffee. The TikTok viral sensation. Let me know if there's other recipes that you guys are seeing blowing up on TikTok that you want me to try. You can leave them in the comment section down below and I'll give them a try. All right, guys, if you're new here, I'm Candice the Edgy Vest. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button every Tuesday and Thursday. I come out with new videos. And if you like this recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. Bye. Did you know you have the mannerisms of the sister from Schitt's Creek? You I do don't that. have you Alexis do. mannerisms. You do this. You do this. Sometimes you're like, like, if you like orange.